So <clears throat> this is a chapter one video. And again, chapter one is just an introduction into managerial accounting. And um, one of the first things they do in chapter one, and if you're using an ebook and I'm giving page numbers, I apologize if they're different. I'm working from a textbook and I'll try to use exhibit numbers to help with that. But they, they talk about what is managerial accounting and, and how is that different from financial accounting? And so one of the things I wanted to show you, um, this website we're looking at right now is the CMA Certified Managerial Accounting Certification Page, which is governed by the Institute of Managerial Accountants. And so just kind of as an introduction, I want to start off showing this quick 30-second video. You want to know why certified management accountants work so well with robots? It's not just because of that team building retreat. <laughs> Rock and Robin, tweet, tweet, tweet. Taste this. It's because they can crunch numbers faster than any human being could, which means I can set strategy and make decisions faster than I ever could. Now we work together like hand and glove. Except hand has an office and glove doesn't. Yeah, well, hand has a CMA and glove doesn't. So the CMA certification, you've got to earn it. So again, just wanted to kind of show you that. And one of the things I wanted you to catch that he said was it helps make decisions. And that's what we do in managerial accounting. We look at the uh, numbers in the business and we make decisions. Um, another way to think about it is financial accounting. The purpose is to provide numbers to external users, whereas managerial accounting, the purpose is to provide numbers to internal users to make decisions. Therefore, when you do financial accounting, you're governed by generally accepted accounting principles where things have to be, or reports have to be in a certain format. In managerial accounting, you put them in the format that best suits the decision-making process. And um, as we go through the chapter, and then on page two, exhibit one one, again, it, it tells you many different um, differences between financial and managerial accounting. And as I told you in the introduction, we're gonna be talking about managerial accounting and how we can use the numbers in accounting to make decisions. Um, over on page seven in your book, it does mention the professional certification of certified manage management accountant. Um, one way, another way to think about that certification, if you want to be the accountant for a, a business, for a corporation, the CMA is going to be very useful for you. It has a lot of information about management, leadership, information technology, and analyzing numbers. And a lot of you may be familiar with the CPA, which it also mentions on page 7 under professional certifications. The CPA, and I was going to try to go to a couple of websites for you. I'm a CPA in the state of Oklahoma, so the o Oklahoma Accountancy Board governs my licensure and my code of ethics and make sure that I have continuing education. So you can go to find a CPA. Many people don't know you can do this. And I can look in Duran, Oklahoma, 74701. And I can see all the different CPAs in Duran, Oklahoma. Um, I'm actually listed in Caddo, Oklahoma, which is near Durant. There I am. Um, that's my CPA license. I have to renew this every year. I have to have continuing education as you do with the certified managerial accounting um, or the CMA certification. The American Institute of per Public Accountants um, also governs continuing education and the CPA exam on a global basis. And uh, again, it's just kind of more about the world of accounting. And they introduced that to you as well. One of the things that we talk about throughout this, this whole um, semester, this whole long seven weeks, is ethics. Accountants are bound by a code of ethics, whether you are a CPA, CMA. Uh, but that certification, what that does is that holds you out to the public. And it says, I am certified. I took an exam set forth by a, a governed body. And I passed that exam, I showed the level of knowledge, and I am now bound to a code of ethics. And on page 10, Exhibit 1-6, they give you the code of ethics for the Institute of Management Accountants. The CPA also has a code of ethics, and there are continuing education courses we take every year in ethics so that we can stay up to date with that. 
Um, we have a survey later on in the, the semester that we'll take and talk a little bit more about ethics and how that relates to accounting. That's really chapter one in a nutshell. It's a pretty short chapter. It's a, it's a really good introduction, um, kind of overview. And as I said, I gave you guys um, a general knowledge quiz because I wanted to see just as a whole what your level of accounting knowledge is. The prerequisites for this course, of course, are financial and managerial accounting. In financial accounting, we learn about financial statements, income statements, balance sheets, statement of cash flows, statement of retained earnings. We learn a little bit about journal entries and how those uh, transactions that happen in the company flow to the financial statements. And then when you get into managerial accounting at the undergraduate level, again, you start looking at the cost of products and services and analyzing those to make decisions. And we'll move forward with that as we get into chapter two. So again, that was chapter one for you. As I told you, your homework's a little bit different for chapter one. You'll be doing the Learn Smart and the General Knowledge Quiz, and then you'll jump on over into chapter two, and I'll have that video posted soon. And in that video, we'll actually start working with some numbers and analyzing some cost uh, concepts as we talk more about managerial accounting. Thank you.